remember have you got a new dart board game <laughs> yes timmy yesterday i won the quiz competition in school i won this as the prize i hung it in the backyard it is more fun playing outdoors that's true hey why don't we play the game let's see who's good at it all right timmy i have two sets of darts green darts and red darts you take the green darts yippee now you try to me oh no i missed never mind to me try again i could hit the bull's eye six times and i could hit it four times now how do we decide the winner that's simple we just need to compare the numbers 6 and 4 but first you need to learn about the comparison symbols the basic comparison terms used are greater than less than and equal to and the symbols used are as follows now let's start comparing while counting the number 4 comes first then comes the number 6 so 6 is greater than 4 and we can write it using the symbol for greater than like this so as your score is more than mine you win yippee i won the first round let's play two more rounds to me okay let's see the scores now this time i could hit the bull's eye eight times and i could hit the bull's eye 10 times wow timmy you win this time you have scored more than me yes you are right amber 10 is greater than 8 there is another way of saying this as we can see 8 comes first then comes the number 10 so 8 is less than 10 we use the less than symbol to write the number statement now this is the last round this will decide who wins the game hey we both hit the bull's eye five times oh yes that means we have equal scores now we use this symbol to show is equal to so we put the equal to symbol between 5 and 5 to show that we have scored equal points so who wins the game well i guess the game is a draw oh never mind we will play some other time hey betty are you in there hey amber is that you please come in hey betty What are you doing with these stickers in your hand? I was just trying to decorate my walls and ceiling, Amber. And all these stickers slipped out of my hand. Please help me pick them up. Sure, Betty. Wow! The stickers are so cute. They will look very nice, Betty. I think I have collected more stickers than both of you. Hmm. We will have to count and see. Okay. First, tell me the number of stickers with both of you. I have collected eleven stickers in all, and I have collected more than you have. I have collected sixteen stickers. Good, and I have collected twenty-four stickers. Now let's compare the numbers and find out the greatest and the smallest number. This will let us know who has collected more stickers. Let's find the smallest number. The number 11 comes first while counting. 
So, 11 is the smallest of the two numbers. Now, the number 16 comes after the number 11 while counting. So, the number 16 is greater than 11. But, the number 24 comes after both the numbers 11 and 16 while counting. So, the number 24 is the biggest number among the three numbers. So, as I have collected 24 stickers, which is the biggest number, I have collected more stickers than you both. The walls are looking good, Betty. The stickers are shining very nicely. Hmm, but what do we do now? Let's play something, Betty. Oh yes, I have a nice puzzle game. You have to arrange all the pieces of the puzzle according to their numbers to get a picture. That sounds interesting. Get the game, Betty. So, what do we do with these pieces, Betty? It's simple, Amber. There is a puzzle in this box. This puzzle consists of 10 pieces numbered from 81 to 90. You have to join the 10 pieces in the correct order of the numbers. You have to make two rows of five pieces each to form the complete picture. Got it, Betty. Let's start. This is number 90. And we have to arrange numbers up to 81. So let's count backward. That is arrange the numbers from the biggest to the smallest. Okay. The number that comes before 90 is 89. Amber, place the piece number 89 to the left of piece number 90. So the pieces 89 and 90 are in place. Now, can you try arranging the pieces, Amber? Oh, sure. Before the number 89 comes 88. So, let's place the piece number 88 to the left of the piece number 89. Before the number 88 comes 87. Let's place the piece number 87 to the left of 88. The number 86 comes before 87. So, let's place the piece number 86 to the left of 87. Now, Amber, the next piece will be placed above 90. So, find out the next number and place it correctly. The number 85 comes before 86. So, let's place the piece number 85 above 90. As we have to make two rows of five pieces. The number that comes before 85 is 84. Now, I shall place the piece number 84 to the left of 85. The number that comes before 84 is 83. Now, I shall place the piece number 83 to the left of 84. The number before 83 is 82. So, I shall place 82 to the left of 83. And the number before 82 is 81. So this is the last piece. And I shall place it to the left of 82. Wow! This is a lovely picture. Isn't it Amber? You are right Betty. Hey! Let's take another 10 pieces and arrange them to form a beautiful picture. Oh, sure. We can compare two numbers using the symbols smaller than, greater than and equal to and can be written as follows. This symbol is used to show greater than. This symbol is used to show less than. This symbol is used to show is equal to. A set of given numbers has a smallest number 
and the greatest number. A given set of numbers can be arranged starting from the greatest number up to the smallest number by counting backwards. 